this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. Now we'll be learning how to reduce noise in Photoshop and I'll show you how there are basically two forms of noise that can happen in the digital image, especially at nighttime pictures. Those are the most obvious. Uh, we'll remove each one of these things separately, uh, correct them individually, and we'll also be trying to retain the most amount of detail up from the image. Uh, the thing to remember here is that uh, it's a balancing act. Anytime you're reducing noise, you're also essentially taking away some information as well. So it's just a way of just uh, balancing out so that you remove the most amount of noise while still remaining a decent amount of detail from the image. So let's have a look here at our very, very uh, grainy image here. This is a very noisy image that I took at night. This is in Hungary. And um, what you can see here, I'm going to zoom in to just make it uh, really apparent here for you, is that um, I'm at 200% here, is that we have some Obviously, some noise, and if you if you look at here, we have a whole bunch of different uh, you know colors going on in the noise here. And we also have some splotches, and I hope you can see this. Let me just zoom in more here. You see these blocks here and of yellow, and you know this is just a nighttime sky. So we obviously have some a lot of color noise, as well as just regular noise. It's just um, besides the color of these things, you also have the you know splotchiness of all these details here and that's basically the luminance noise and we're gonna um, be removing this and I'll just uh, make sure I'll be in uh, zooming in here so we can uh, see exactly in an, an exaggerated way what it is that we're doing we're gonna go to filter noise and reduce noise now this is a big, big dialog box here and what I like to do is just uh, work with the zoomed in image that we have here for now so what I'll do is uh, just move this to the side here and um, I've turned off the preview so that we see our original image right and then we see some just default settings that Photoshop uh, is bringing up here for me what I want to do is uh, just set everything to uh, the most amount of uh, of noise reduction so I'm just gonna uh, unclick here the JPEG artifact I don't wanna um, this is a separate thing that we'll cover um, what I wanna do is set the strength to maximum oh turn on the preview first of all preserve details the way that we do this is turn this down so this means that it's applying the most amount of uh, of noise cancellation in the luminance. Remember I talked about in the darker areas we have a whole bunch of splotchiness. This is what this is. And the color noise, um, the way it works is uh, in the opposite way here. We're just reducing the color noise so we set this at 100%. So basically if we set it as this, if you set it as strength of 10, preserve details of 0, reduce color noise of 100%, sharpen details 0, and JPEG artifact um, un unticked, then you're seeing the most amount of uh, noise reduction that you can you can be obtaining. And uh, so we'll just uh, unclick here the preview. And as you can see, it does a really good job at removing a lot of things, but um, it starts to create a little painterly effect on the objects of here of the statue. Just move it here a little bit closer. And um, that's really no good because we want to try to preserve uh, the most of amount of details. And at the moment, this is uh, reducing too much. So the first thing we want to be doing here is uh, playing around with the uh, the preserved details. And this will be bringing in um, some of the details that we have in the shadows. So if you, of course, if you set this to 100%, it's always a good idea to just uh, see what a specific tool is doing. In this case, like I said, it is bringing back some of that noise that you have in the light levels. So we want to bring this down to an acceptable level where you see that if you have too little of the preserved details, then you lose a lot of the details. But if you just increase it just slightly, then you start seeing that a lot of that detail already comes back without bringing too much of the noise in the sky here. So again, I'll just bring this to 100% here. So we have a lot of noise here, but if I set this to example for 10%, then we have a lot of that noise basically disappearing, but we have a lot of that detail. So let's um, uncheck preview here. So this is the original unedited image here, and we'll go ahead and turn preview again. And as you can see, we're not losing too much of the details here. So this is pretty good. And um, what I want to do here is just now play with the reduced color noise. 
and I can do this by just again if I set this to zero we see what this is doing here it's bringing in some of that splotchy yellowness that uh, is characteristic of uh, you know of uh, noisy images so what we want to do here is just um, bring this back to a level where we're not losing too much of the um, of the color we are obviously there's more color here going under some blue and if we put it at a hundred percent it's it's making it duller so we want to bring it back to a level where we're not introducing too much yellow it's like I said it's a balancing act so you just want to go one way and then you start seeing we're starting to introduce slightly too much yellow here so I want to go back to another way so that was 60 percent 80 percent seems pretty good so we can do the uh, uncheck the preview and check it again now and as you can see, we're starting to do a lot of good to this. Now, the last step I want to apply here is the sharpen details. And uh, again, it's always good to just uh, see what the extremes are. So that's 100% of sharpen details. So here you can observe what it is that the sharpen is doing. It's actually sharpening some of the sky here and a hell of a lot here of the statue and so forth. So we just have to be careful that um, essentially it's sharpening everything, all the details and unfortunately some of the noise as well. So we want to be using sharpening very sparingly. So for example, at 5%, um, compare that to 0%. It's a very slight um, modification that you're going to be doing, but you don't want to be sharpening too many things. So um, just set it to a level that... Uh, you don't find that you are adding too much sharpening. So for example, we'll just I'll bring this here to 20%. And this is probably the top end that you want to be working with. And um, let's uncheck the preview. And here we are. So we have a really good um, removing of, of the noise here. Let's look at our uh, floor here. There's a lot of noise going on here. We turn on preview. And there's all of that pretty much gone away with uh, minimal loss, basically. And um, the other thing I want to show here, the last step, is the remove JPEG artifact. Now, obviously, you only be you will only be needing to use this if your image is a JPEG. First of all, if it was uh, originally a JPEG, or you're working maybe with a PSD now, but uh, whatever it was originally. So it probably will be originally a JPEG if you're just taking uh, general shots, unless you you were working with RAW. But you have to be careful with the remove JPEG artifact um, option because sometimes that will highly affect your image. Now usually this affects more lower resolution images. This is just a, uh, I believe it's just a 2 megapixel image. So if you turn on the remove JPEG artifact and uh, have a look here at the detail here. If we turn this on, then what we're doing here is um, it's just it's just made things a little bit too blurry. If you look at the details, for example here, look at this horse here. right? We'll remove, we'll take that away and it just makes things a little bit sharper for us without it actually so it's not helping us much in some images you'll find that this might actually help especially if you have reduced you know if you've saved this jpeg uh with a lower quality then you might find that it does a good job of balancing that out but i haven't done that and um for my image here it's just not working so that's why i leave this to the last step to see if it actually is working for us or against us. In this case, it's against us. So I'll go with these settings. I'll click OK. And there we are. We've removed the noise. This is overall the image here. We have quite a lot of the noise removed. Like I said, we haven't removed everything. It's a bit of a balancing act. But if I do an undo here, this is the before and this is the after. I think we've done a, a pretty good job. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.